so it's Wednesday. I wish it was my day off tomorrow, but it's not. I work all week, but anyways, I apologize for my appearance, but those of you who have children know that um, by the end of the day, you don't always look the best, so um, I worked all day, and I actually made a video for my Michaels haul, and what do you know? I didn't like the video. Like, this camera is too nice. It shows too much detail on my face, and especially when I'm not looking good, like times right now, and it's like, okay, camera, don't, don't do so many uh, awesome details. So, I didn't show it, and now I can't find one of the things, of course, but I stopped at Whimsy Doodle on Tuesday, and I picked up some new Cosmo Cricut paper, whoop whoop, so I totally have to share, because it's amazing. Look at this. I love the whole ombre thing. Well, I think ombre goes uh, dark to light, so if you turn it upside down, it's dark to light. You see how beautiful that is, and even the back is really cute. And this one is Cosmo Cricut. Cosmo Cricut just came out with two lines. This is from the Summer Love line. Again, it's that whole ombre effect. See how it goes from dark to light. And I even love the back. Again, light to dark. Oh my gosh, I'm totally loving these papers. Let's see, you guys. I can kind of get a feel here. <clears throat> you guys have to go pick up this paper. And then, I think these are, yeah, these are all from the Summer Love line. They came out with, um, the other line was a little too vintage for me. Um, but it's very light here. It might look like that's my light shooting, but it really is light in the middle. And I love this, the diagonal. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Molly, come here! Molly's acting a fool, so if you guys hear weird noise, it's just Molly being crazy. She's had a long day too, I'm sure. This is the next one. We I always love these little cutout sheets. Oh, I love this. It's really, really cute. Molly, come here. I swear. That darn dog knows I'm filming and now she's eating. She's so silly. Oh, I didn't show the back. The back is even super duper cool. And I pick all these papers up at Wim's Doodle. And, um... Actually, someone on the design team just started a Whimsy Doodle design team Facebook page. So, um, you guys, I need to link it so you guys can keep up with, if you're interested, keep up with all the posts and things that we make for um, Whimsy Doodle. And it just started today, like uh, an hour ago. And the back is really cool if you're into films. So, you guys gotta check that out. There's not too much on there. Like I said, it just started. Okay, so on Sunday, I went to Michael's and Joann's. Yes, girls, I did. And boys, let's not leave you out. So I always pick these up whenever I go to Joann's. I am so obsessed with these, and I swear I use them on, like, every project. They're just, like, the mini market ones, but they're in black and silver, and I feel these just match with everything. And they're a dollar a piece, and I had a 20% off coupon. You cannot go wrong with that price. Then, oh, I found the thing I was looking for. Awesome. Then, these little Studio 112 stamps. Oh, my gosh. So pretty. A dollar a piece. And keep in mind, I had that 20% coupon. So, I'm not into horses. Well, horses are not into me. They try and bite me. They try and throw me off them. I'm not sure what's going on. So, I just love this stamp. I love the detail of this stamps, of all of them. You guys are going to see the details in all of these stamps. And actually, I picked up two horse stamps because she already knows but my friend Rachel, hey girl if you're watching, she, her daughter, um, horseback rides, so I had to get that for her. And then I got this pretty one, this pretty bird. You know, one day if I ever make a card, which will never happen. No, I'm just kidding. Slightly. <laughs> And then I love this little bunny. I seriously do need to make something with that bunny because my mom loves bunnies. She would love if I made her something with that. Dragonflies and a bumblebee. I think it's a bumblebee. It's really cute. And I already have tons and tons of butterfly stamps, especially the Tim Holtz ones because they're amazing, as you girls already know. But I had to get this one because I love 
this little piece. Yes, this little piece right here. Um, I feel you could do some kind of fun drip and splatter effect or background. And again, look how stinking detailed. This camera does shows awesome for details. Come here, Molly. Molly might say hi. Okay, nope, she jumped on the bed. And then I'm totally, I'm not against hunting. I just don't do it personally. But I see this for some fun, funky type of like abstract background or project. So, that's what I got at Joanne's. And then, yes, I hit up Michael's on Sunday. And I only got three things. It was so good. I use a 40% off on this. Don't laugh. It's all I had to use a coupon on. Seriously, it's all I found. Well, I found two more things, but they were already on sale. So this is in their $1.50 bin, and there's eight of these little glasses, and I'm not wearing them today, but you guys know I got those big, nerdy glasses, so I had to pick these up. So cute. And then, last but not least, I got these. These were on clearance for a dollar each, and I thought they were really pretty. And they're not brads, so they're kind of like flare, but they're fabric. Because they're, um, well, they're not popped up on foam dots, but. So I thought those were cute. So that's all I got. And I know I'm getting so many comments on, we missed your video, Emily. You know, what have you been up to? I am in school and focusing on psychology. And there's lots of changes happening in my life. Um, I'm not really ready to speak out about it. Um, but. I promise I will fill you guys in as soon as things really take off so it's exciting so just keep me in your prayers or your you know whatever if you're not spiritual or religious just keep me in your thoughts I would really appreciate it and I really want to do some time-lapse project for videos for you guys because those are so fun for myself as it pushes me to create stuff and it kind of gives you guys a inside look of how I create things and you get a peek into this crazy mind that I have. So anyways, I apologize again for the lack of videos. I'm still alive and kicking it and just trying to get a handle on life right now. So please comment below so we can all keep in touch and I'm hoping I'll have some more videos this week. I'll see you later guys. Bye.